Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have some new updates that have been announced. Um, we got some timelines as to when these updates will be coming out. Um, also, a little bit more information just for a roadmap for RuneScape 3. Essentially, I am going to be giving a summary of the RuneScape live stream that they had where they specifically talked about the upcoming updates coming to RuneScape 3. The stream was pretty long, a little bit over an hour, and it was packed full of a lot of information. So we are just going to unpack all of that and give a brief summary as to everything they were talking about in their live stream. But before we jump into it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you do enjoy this video and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So first things first, the first thing they mentioned on stream was the brand new quest, Desperate Measures which will be released on July 27th. Desperate Measures is going to be continuing where Desperate Times left off. So essentially, uh, Karapek, he flees to Anachronia with the measure in hopes to destroy the Elder Gods. That is essentially where this quest is going to be beginning. Um, and that being said, the Desperate Times quest is a prerequisite quest for Desperate Measures. Um, they also mentioned the other requirements in case you guys do want to do Desperate Measures as soon as possible. You will want to have these. So, of course, there is the Desperate Times quest. Another requirement to de do Desperate Measures is the Anachronia Base Camp tutorial. So, essentially, you'll need to visit Anachronia and make it to the base camp. Um, then you'll also need 50 Agility, 50 Archaeology, and 75s in combat. I really do like the 50 archaeology re requirement. It is basically the first quest that will have some archaeology into it. Um, they did mention that this quest is going to tie into archaeology a uh, decent amount. I could even see maybe even an archaeology XP reward, which would be pretty cool. Um, but that being said, it is going to be pretty interesting to see what this quest brings. Um, I think it is going to be a pretty fun quest and it is a pretty exciting storyline. I know a lot of players have really been wanting another quest, so that is good that they are going to be releasing this, and it's coming pretty soon on July 27th. Now, some other new content that they were talking about briefly. Um, of course, they were talking about the Desperate Measures quest, and also they're hoping to work on a few other possible quests, maybe even related on some seasonal events. Um, they were definitely planning on releasing another summer event, which is the beach. Um, they're going to have some new outfits and cosmetics for that. And they were talking about some other seasonal events. So, for example, um, when October comes, Halloween, they want some more Halloween events, do a better job um, with a Halloween event because last year they didn't even have one. So they do want to work on some better seasonal events, which is something that's pretty cool. Um, they also touched on ninja updates, so they have been doing a lot of those recently. Um, some recent changes have been the Grand Exchange rework, which has been amazing. Ninja Team did an amazing job on that. Also the Tier 92 changes and Shattered Worlds. Um, those are some pretty good changes done by the Ninja Team. Um, but some other things that they're planning on looking at is a spellbook um, and also clue scrolls, maybe even a clan system rework so those are going to be some pretty interesting changes um, they're planning on doing a lot with the, the ninja team and I think it is really great reworking some old content to make it a lot better is something that is really important in the game um, so I really do like that they are looking at a lot of some outdated features and trying to make them a lot better and more responsive another update that they did tease was an update coming in September. Now they did say this is going to be a rework or an update of some kind of content that is 12 years old. So as Mod Warden put it, he said that this update or rework is going to be for some content that is coming up on its 12th year anniversary. So I decided to go and check the wiki, checked the update history for all updates in 2008, and I do have a few uh, specific ideas of what it could possibly be. So first off, looking in September, the month the update is going to be coming out, some possible updates for that could be a Clan Wars rework. Um, that is definitely possible. There's also some quests like Defender of Varrock. Um, the one thing that really did jump out at me is Summer's End quest. And if you guys know, the Summer's End quest also is Corporal Beast. So that is definitely a possibility. I wouldn't 
really mind seeing a sort of Corporal Beast rework or something with that. I think that would be pretty cool, um, but that is just an idea. Another thing that did come out in 2008 was summoning, so um, obviously that is also another uh, possibility as well. Maybe they release uh, summoning expansion or something like that. Um, but it is going to be really interesting to see, and you guys can definitely speculate. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think this update could be. I definitely want to see what you guys think and what you guys can come up with. Um, me personally, I'm kind of leaning towards um, Corporal Beast or summoning, um, and then possibly a Clan Wars rework or something like that. During the live stream, they also discussed the new dig site, Orthon, which will be another update that is going to be coming to RuneScape 3. I wouldn't expect this one to come very soon, but I could see it maybe in the fall or early of next year. Um, they didn't give a specific timeline, but they did specify that this new dig site is going to be a good time to sort of fix some changes with archaeology or some suggestions that players may have. And then also, the same with every dig site, there will be a pretty uh, prestigious and significant reward that will come along with this dig site. Um, so for example, Stormguard Citadel, you'll get uh, Ancient Invention, and also with uh, Infernal Source, you'll get Ancient Summoning, so stuff like that. Uh, so they did say that the new dig site, Orthon, will give something similar to that, another pretty significant reward. Um, so it is going to be interesting to see what that may be. Uh, my theory on it is it could be uh, maybe even Ancient Potions or something like that. Um, I do believe they were planning on releasing those, so um, that is just my hypothesis to what it may be. Now lastly, they only briefly touched on this. This is the Elder God Wars dungeon, so they kind of didn't talk about this much at all, which was a bit disappointing. Um, that is probably the most anticipated update, at least for me. Um, I'm kind of the most excited about this. Unfortunately, though, they didn't discuss it much at all. They only briefly touched on it, saying that it is in the works and they are still working on it. It does seem like it is going to be behind schedule. Uh, initially, it was supposed to come out in the summer of 2020, which is right now. But it does seem like it is going to be delayed somewhat, um, although we don't know that for sure as of right now. Now, the only other update that they did briefly mention was an update about the Alchemical Onyx. They really didn't talk about it much, but uh, I would assume that it is going to be able to make a new necklace or a ring or some sort of jewelry with a pretty cool ability. Now, although they did talk about updates a lot during the stream, they also did talk about how their lives have changed with, uh, of course, COVID and the global pandemic. They discussed all their challenges they have faced during this difficult time, uh, especially with working remote. Um, so that being said, I would give them a break on sort of not releasing updates in time or not releasing enough updates. I mean, they just did release archaeology while the pandemic was going on, while they were going through all these changes. So I do want to show some appreciation to those JMods. It definitely was a pretty difficult time and pretty hectic with everything going on, and they still were able to produce this really awesome update and have an awesome release for it. So I do want to give them some appreciation in doing that. Um, definitely couldn't have been easy. Um, now, that being said, I know there has been a lot of people a bit upset about the lack of updates or the lack of communication of updates. Um, I do see that getting a lot better. I would just give them a break. It was a pretty difficult time and a lot of changes going on there. But again, I do expect the communication to increase from here on out since everything does seem to be settling down. They are more adjusted now. During the stream, they did also mention that they are trying to get back to releasing new content consistently, um, hopefully having you know a new update every few weeks or every month, um, maybe even some patch notes and ninja updates and stuff like that. So it does look like it is going to be getting back pretty good, but I would expect some of these updates, especially announced in RuneFest, to be delayed a little bit, um, especially just because of these unforeseen circumstances. So anyway guys, that is basically it. That is all I want to say in this video, but I will summarize. Um, so there is going to be the Desperate Measures quest, which is a sequel to the prerequisite quest, Desperate Times. That is going to be coming out on July 27th. Um, and they also have the summer event, which is the beach, that will be coming out um, pretty soon probably. They're also going to be working on some ninja updates, um, some spellbook, clue scroll, clan rework with the ninja updates. Also some other things, just whatever the community suggests really. Um, and then they also 
did talk about an update in September, which will be about a con piece of content that is on its 12th year of anniversary. And again, I do want to know in the comments down below what you guys think that could be. Um, and of course, Elder God Wars Dungeon, not really any, any new information on that. Um, and the new Dig Site Orthon, not really too much new information on that. But those two things are coming. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video really helpful and informative. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. And anyway guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.